right now y'all are joining me uh, I'm out here driving for dollars right now trying to get the next deal you know I think people really underestimate the the power of, of driving for dollars and if anything they may even overthink it um, they think that they have to have all of these uh, you know all these apps they have to pay for it all this and that uh, but really all all you really need to drive for dollars is a car to drive of course hi right, that's really all you need you don't need all these fancy apps that cost you know cost you money every single month um, at least starting out now if you have money coming in and you can afford those apps it's not eating too much into your own profits then sure absolutely i'm all for it uh, but right now like i'm not i'm not using any apps um with the exception of you know an app to track my route to see where i've driven it's very easy to drive down the same roads that you've been down before the only apps you really need is something to track other uh, locations you've already been to that way you don't go down the same road more than once because uh, that would just be wasting time for not necessarily grass that's that's overgrown because it's still the winter time here so grass isn't really an issue right now uh, i'm looking more for boarded up windows uh you know no curtains on the windows seeing straight through the house um no cars in the driveway things like that before i'm not seeing a whole lot which happens there's plenty of times you go through a neighborhood and you won't see a single property uh, that at least appears to be, you know, abandoned or anything like that. But uh, that was just the first little section of the neighborhood. Now I'm going to go see what else is going on down through here. And the thing you really want to focus on when, when driving for dollars is that you're actually driving in a neighborhood uh, where houses can actually sell. So if the entire block is nothing but shitty houses, uh, it's going to be hard to repair it and resell it because people won't want to buy a nice house in a shitty neighborhood most of the time. I thought I saw something there, but there was a car in the driveway. So that's a no-go. That's a no-go. That's okay. This is a pretty, pretty nice neighborhood. Pretty nice houses down through here. Um, I'm not really seeing a whole lot right now. This looks like it could be something. I may turn around and check that one out. That look that looks like what I'm looking for. So. I'm going to go ahead and turn around here. So this is what I'm seeing right here. Uh, right behind that bush there, there's a paper on the window. Couldn't really see what it says. The driveway's pretty empty here. What I'm going to do is go ahead and mark this on my GPS and follow up with it later. Uh, since I don't have the fancy deal machine app, um, I'm not going to be able to uh, take a picture of this and direct me or anything like that. So. I'm gonna do this the, uh, the old fashioned way here. So I got that property marked down. Uh, I'm gonna go, once I get back to the house, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do some research on that. It, it doesn't look like nobody lives there, but it, it, it looked pretty, pretty promising. That bush in the front, it was completely unmaintained. That's usually a good sign that people haven't lived there for a while. So I'll check that out. Uh, but I'm right back at it, right back going down the streets here. Trying to see if I can find anything else. You just never know what you're gonna find out here. Um, I've never really uh, drove for dollars in this area before. Uh, you know, I really don't know a whole lot about this particular area. Uh, but I have seen houses in this city you know, that sell for two to three hundred thousand dollars, if not more. So, it's a good area. I don't know if this particular neighborhood is. Uh, based on the 
looks of all the houses down through here. This is definitely a, a middle class neighborhood for sure. Um, and those are really the best ones to drive for dollars in. Looks like I'm um, heading to a road that will lead me to uh, another section of the neighborhood here. During the summer, it'll be a hell of a lot easier to come back through here. Uh, the grass will come up. I'm seeing some really, really gigantic houses uh, out here. So that's a, usually a good sign as far as the type of neighborhood that I'm in. A lot of people are kind of scared to drive for dollars in, in really nice neighborhoods, they think. In really nice neighborhoods, you're not going to find, you know, a house boarded up or a house that isn't getting taken care of, uh, when really it's the exact opposite. You know, you're likely to find that, that diamond in the rough. Uh, it's just all about getting out there and driving. You know, if you got a little bit of gas, you got a car, that'll get you there. It's just it's the best thing you could do for for this. You know, it's not deals left and right. It's not you know you drive five feet and there's your deal. You know, there's forty grand waiting on you. But it's it's the process. It's the process of being a real estate investor. It's just finding the deals. They don't always just come and come to you and fall in your lap. You know, sometimes you gotta go get them. Long process, but you gotta learn to love that process, otherwise you won't continue to do it. I love the process. Every street I turn down, I just know there's gonna be something waiting for me. You know, that's not always the case. It's the point of, it always could be. It's that chance that there could be a deal waiting for me. It's what keeps me doing this. It really doesn't take much you know, and it's, it's not a hard thing to do. You can just drive looking for distressed properties. That's literally all that you, that's literally all you that you do. When you drive for dollars, you usually drive looking for distressed properties. It's not that hard. You know, and to really, to really be successful in this, you really have to be hungry. You have to really, 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 uh, you know, want to do this. If you go into it like, I don't know, I might try it out. Uh, and the first time that you fail, you're not going to keep doing it. So if, you, if you're going to get into this, you got to get into this. You, know, you can't be half-stepping. You got to really do this. So this is a really nice neighborhood. Wow. Yeah. A lot of nice houses. A lot of nice houses down through here. For sure. Empty driveway, but deep pool. A lot of times when you see decorations, that's usually the indication that somebody lives there. A lot of times, uh, you know, the no cars in the, in the driveway is always that first, you know, that first, you know, excitement, you know. But the moment you see decorations and such, it usually means somebody lives there. They're just at work or whatever they may be doing for the day at that time. But these are really nice houses. Really, really nice houses. I mean, these are probably two hundred thousand dollars easy. There's probably a few cheap options down through here. Uh, but man, let me tell you, most of these look brand new, like they just built them, recently renovated. There's not a single distressed property in this whole neighborhood. And I, I figured there, it would be like that, going back to the previous neighborhood that I was driving through just before I went to the, the nice neighborhood there. Uh, this is a nice neighborhood too, but it's not as new. These houses have probably been there since the 50s. This is probably more 160, 180, 190,000 dollar houses down through here. Uh, a lot of family homes. I can tell there's a lot of these are three bedrooms. Just by looking at them, they're pretty decent in size. There's a house here that looks pretty interesting. There's a big old bush in front of the house. Doesn't like anybody's home. It also doesn't like anybody's been there for a while. So I may spin around. I looked around so I can show you all what I'm talking about here. Uh, it's, it's a. It looks like it's it's distressed. If you can 
can see that. Yeah, as you can see, it it it, it looked a little deprived. Uh, the bush out front was just all over the place. There wasn't any cars in the driveway. There's not really any decorations. That when you look at the house, it just looks lifeless. Uh, doesn't necessarily mean nobody lives there. Uh, they could just be at work and they just may not take care of the house. Um, for instance, there was some there was something growing. There was uh, some vines growing on that house I just passed, and there's cars in the driveway. So people live there; they just don't care. <laughs> it happens. That's how it is sometimes. So when I get home. Uh, I have two properties that I'm going to be looking up, looking into. You know, and the thing is, they both might be absolutely nothing. You know, they they might not be my deal that I'm looking for, but uh, it's the point of looking for it. But I tell you what, when you sit at home and you never look, you never find it how the game goes buddy but i'm gonna stop and get some lunch uh, it's about that time having been eating all day it's about three o'clock uh, so i'm gonna go get something in my stomach uh, and then i'll catch up with you guys here in just a few mcdonald's baby uh, i am full you know, I usually don't condone eating the slop, as I like to call it. But man, can we just take a moment and appreciate the two for five fish fillet sandwich? No fillet of fish. <laughs> They're gonna die, die greasy. All right, now that my stomach is full, going back on the road, uh, I'm gonna be hitting up the neighborhood just up the way here. It's pretty decent sized neighborhood I probably won't get through it all today um, but I'm gonna check it out see y'all when I get there I'm coming for you deals I'm coming for you all right so I've been at this uh, this big neighborhood for probably about 20 minutes or so now uh, it's a very nice neighborhood very very nice um, very big too uh, there was a couple couple properties that are a point of interest I'm a come back and check on them over the next few days to see if uh, see if I notice anybody there as of right now not a whole lot still looking around but it's getting a little late and so far I'm not really finding anything that really pops out right now so I might be coming back for a uh, another day we will see. But again, sometimes there are days like this. The days you do a lot of driving and you won't come out with a lot of deals. You just have to trust in the process. You have to love the process. You know, if you do it long enough, put in the work, eventually you will find that deal. You get your chance. But unfortunately, you're not going to get great deal every time you hop in your car and go through the neighborhood you know i was gonna find that deal so keep that in mind all right guys well that's gonna be it for the day done plenty of driving i uh, got a couple couple properties i'm gonna be looking into here when i get back to the house and i got two more properties that could be a point of interest um, that i'm gonna be looking into as well keeping an eye on uh, see if there's any differences over the next few days um, and if not, I will follow up on those properties as well. Um, but if you're watching this and you are looking to sell your house fast, you would definitely want to reach out to us at James Kane Real Estate. Uh, we are not real estate agents in any way. We are not brokers. I'm a real estate investor, so I have many partners that I work with on a daily basis. So I can get your house out of your hands within 30 days. So if you have a house that you just cannot get rid of or you don't want to go through the hassle of paying realtor fees, commission fees, if you're in a foreclosure, if you're in any of those things, if your house has no equity, I can get you out of your house in 30 days. Uh, so just give us a call. 
at James Kane Real Estate and we'll get you situated right away. See you guys later.